Hello and a very good morning to all my dear students. This is your teacher Hina Khan from Prep Class. I hope you all are fine at home and are enjoying our daily class lessons. This is your maths lesson and in maths lesson let's see what we are going to learn today. But before starting my lesson let me tell you the date and day and today's weather as well. Today is 9th April 2020 and the day is Thursday and the weather is sunny. So today again we are we are going to learn about the time. Today we are going to tell you about hours and half hours. It is also called half past. As you people know that a clock has two hands. Bigger hand and a shorter hand. Bigger hand tells us how many minutes are there. And the shorter hand tells us about the hour. Hour and half hour. Half hour is also called half past. If the big hand take half round of the clock, it is called half hour or half past. As you can see a clock and on this clock you can observe that if the big hand take half round of the clock, it is called half hour or half past. If the big hand take full round of the clock, it is called an hour. As you can see on this clock. Half past. Bigger hand is pointing to six. And the shorter hand is between 7 and 8. So it is half past 7. Let me repeat it. That if the bigger hand is pointing to 6. And the shorter hand is between 7 and 8. It is half past 7. So we look at the shorter hand to see which number it has just gone past. And say it is half past 7. Can you guess what the time is it? You can observe that the bigger hand is at 6 and the shorter hand is between 4 and 5. So the time is half past 4. So when bigger hand completes half of the clock, we will say half past. Okay, can you tell me that who says the right time? Yes, here we have a dog and a cat. The dog is saying that the time is half past four and the cat is saying that the half past two. Now tell me that who is telling the perfect and the right time? Yes, that the dog is right. It is telling the correct time. It is half past four. Now, discuss the time with your mom by watching these clocks. In the first clock, you can observe that the time is half past one. In the second clock, the time is half past two. And in the third clock, it is half past three. When the bigger hand is pointing at six, it means that it is half past. Now, what time is it? Find the missing number. Yes, here we have a clock and it is half past what? 1, 3, 1, 4, 12 and 5. Now think about it. That which number will come in the black box? Yes, it's 12 30 or half past 12. So the number 12 will come in the black box. So here we have the written task for you. 
write the time in the given boxes like half past what as you can see that there are many clocks on this page so with the help of your mom you will draw these clocks on a paper and you just have to see the clock think the time in your mind and fill the given boxes now it's time to wrap up the lesson with the small activity now go around in your home and see the clock wait for the time when it's going to be half past when the bigger hand will be pointing to 6 and the shorter hand will be between any two numbers it means it's half past tell it to your mom independently and discuss with her now inshallah we will see you in the next lesson till then take care of yourself and your family members as well allah hafiz